hey, we have here today kind of a ridiculous integral. I thought it was, I thought this one was actually kind of funny. Since I didn't get this one from a contest, I only have myself to blame because I was the one that made this one up. So let's see how this one goes. Now, the key thing to notice, now obviously we could just distribute this in and see what we get, but I think the real point of this is there is identities for each of these expressions, and let's look at that now. So for our numerator here, what I wanna notice is it's actually in the exact form that we have right here. We have our x minus one, and then we have this descending xn minus one, xn minus two. Well, that's exactly what we have here, x minus one times all the terms summed together. So like if n minus one is three, then n is four. So we'll rewrite our numerator as x to the fourth minus one. And then for the denominator, we'll notice the similarity here to our second formula here. We have our x plus one, x n minus one, very similar, but notice the alternating signs, minus plus minus, minus plus minus. Okay, so again, if n minus one is three, then our n is gonna be four. So what that's telling me is this denominator is actually also x to the four minus one. You'll know that this whole integral, everything's gonna cancel. This is gonna cancel down to one. We're just integrating one and it's gonna be just x plus c. So yes, you could probably do this one in less than five seconds. I just thought it was kind of fun. So we'll stop it there. Thanks everyone for watching. Have a great day.